Over the past few years, sports fans in India have found an engaging and entertaining way of connecting with the sporting events, and that too from the comfort of their homes. But the debate on legality, format, and impact of fantasy sports on sports has been going on for some time. With Niti Aayog's call for regulation, online fantasy sports sector will get a boost. The Niti Aayog report recognizes fantasy sports as a sports engagement tool and distinguishes it from online gaming. So, for those of you thinking fantasy sports to be an online game, let me tell you that it isn't one. So, here is a quick fact check for you. We all know that the popularity of fantasy sports in India is only rising. But did you know that India is the largest online fantasy sports market by user base in the world with over 100 million Indian sports fans? Fantasy sports are based on real life sports and no simulation whatsoever. These are only available for a real life match and not any time one wants to play. Unlike gaming, to participate in fantasy sports, users create their own virtual teams before the start of a real life live sporting event. Fantasy sports help promote newer and non-mainstream sports and tournaments thereby building a sporting culture. Unlike gaming, fantasy sports cannot be played 24/7 and time spent on the app is limited to making your fantasy sports team. That too before the match start time. And so, this also makes it a non-addictive form of engagement. Fantasy sports are available for 10 sports in India, namely cricket, football, kabaddi, basketball, hockey, volleyball, handball, baseball, rugby, American football and futsal. Users participating on a fantasy sports platform can transparently see the choices made by fellow participants and also track their performance in real time. The outcome of the competition is dependent entirely on the performance of the players in the real life sports event. Many Indian high courts and the Supreme Court of India have held OFS as a legitimate business under Article 19.1G of the Constitution of India. As per the law, fantasy sport is not betting or gambling. It is also different from online gaming. A study released by MIT and Columbia University demonstrates that online fantasy sports team selection requires higher skills than mutual fund management. You could perhaps compare online fantasy sports with the stock market. They are like the stock market for sports. Fantasy sports depend on actualities, seasonality, availability of real-time sports matches, making it a non-addictive form of engagement with sports. It has been observed that 60% of fantasy sports users watch and follow sports more. 48% of fantasy sports users watch every sports match irrespective of the team or country. Fantasy sports users are in the age group of 25 to 40 who are independent or salary class sports fans. Studies show that 80% of fantasy sports users participate in free contests. This proves that engagement with sports is the primary motive to participate in fantasy sports platforms. 99.1% of all users have either won or lost less than 10000 Indian rupees net in their lifetime on a fantasy sports platform in India. The average ticket size of participation in a pay to participate format is as low as 35 Indian rupees, typically the cost of a snack. The sector is expected to contribute nearly rupees 13500 crore to the Indian government over the next 5 years by way of taxes which holds great promise for the country's economy. 
Fantasy sports is also expected to create around 12,000 jobs via direct and indirect employment in the next few years. Indian fantasy sports has a dedicated self-regulatory body called FIFS that has also appointed an ombudsman for user grievances. Overall, India's fantasy sports industry is in an exciting phase right now and Niti Aayog guidelines are a revolutionary step towards promoting and protecting the innovative industry of fantasy sports. Formal recognition of the sector will give it the much needed boost and pave the way for further growth of both sports and fantasy sports.